Praise the Lord. This is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. Hey, thank you so much for joining my channel. I want to encourage you today. In 2 Timothy, um, Paul wrote a letter to his, his um, beloved son, he called him, Timothy. He was just a, a student of Paul, Timothy, but Paul loved Timothy, um, and he wrote a letter to him in 2 Timothy to encourage him. And he said something interesting in that letter. He said that um, Timothy's uh, faith was strong and that he wanted to put him into remembrance how sincere Timothy was in his walk with Christ. And Paul was pleased behind his walk. And he said, he went on to say that his grandmother and his mother had this same level of faith that Timothy had. And that he was convinced that Timothy was deposited that same level of faith that his grandmother and his mother had. And so he began to encourage him and he, he penned the uh, famous scripture that we find in 2 Timothy 1 and 7. For God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. And so he went on to encourage Timothy to not be ashamed to testify about the Lord or to even um, talk about him or, or um, talk about him, meaning Paul, uh, being in prison for his work for the Lord. And so I thought that was interesting because um, that scripture, he hasn't given us the spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. That sound mind means uh, stability in our ability to do things. It means, um, it means that it's sure. It means that it's not unstable. It means that it is immovable. You know, it's, it's, it's secure, it's sound, it's self-control. Um, and so I just thought about this letter that Paul wrote to Timothy and said, wow, Paul was encouraging Timothy in the faith. He saw what was in Timothy and he was encouraging him to move forward in the things that God had called him to with not a spirit of tim uh, uh, timidness, but the spirit of God, which gives us power, love, and a sound mind. And so I wanna encourage you today that whatever God has called you to, he has deposited that in you. And so we can rest assured if he deposited in us, if he's called us, he's deposited in us what we need to carry out what he's called us to. And so we have to walk in power and love and in a sound mind because we know that we have the deposit on the inside of us that is helping us to do what he's called us to do. And so that's what Paul was doing with, with his beloved son, Timothy, his student in the faith. He was encouraging him by putting him into remembrance that his grandmother and his mother had the same gifts that he had, that the Holy Spirit had deposited into Timothy. And he was just encouraging him to, to move forward in that, not being timid, but move forward in, in whatever God called him to with power, with authority and with love and with a sound mind. And, and so I wanna encourage you today. God has called you to something. And I remember when he first called me, um, I was struggling, I was still struggling with fear. A lot of you don't know my story, but I was an anxious person. Um, I was controlled by anxiety for many years from a child on it up until adulthood. And 
I have been completely delivered from anxiety. Not saying that I don't have uh, times when I'm fearful, but I don't let anxiety control my life any longer. And so I'm encouraging you today to be what God fully called you to be. You cannot walk in fear. You have to walk in the power, the love, and the sound mind that God has deposited on the inside of you when he deposited your gift. Paul also told Timothy in this passage to stir up his gift. Stir it up. Glory to God. And you can't stir it up in fear. You got to walk in power. God has equipped you. He has anointed you. He has gifted you to do what he's called you to do. You just do it. We just be obedient and God does the rest. If we're obedient, it's up to God to do the rest. We just got to do what he's called us to do and he will do what needs to be done on the other side of it. So I'm encouraging you to walk in power, walk in love and self-control and watch God move because he's gifted you to do something but you need to do it in power, in love, and with a sound mind and not operate in the spirit of fear and stir that gift up because people are literally waiting on you to walk in that, that power and that authority and do what God has called you to do. God uh, called you to do. God bless you. May the Lord God keep you in perfect peace and may you keep your mind stayed on him. In Jesus' name.